Welcome, Alfred. If you're seeing this, it means I haven't been able to enter a special code into the main computer from inside the cave, or by remote, within a predetermined length of time. That means most likely I am dead, which is why the wall in your room opened, and why you're sitting here at this moment, listening to me drone on. Dick and Tim now have their missions in life. Difficult ones, to be sure, since my death will present them with distinct challenges. Challenges that I have no doubt you'll be there to help them weather, just as you were always there for me. But what I'm about to ask you pertains to a specific mission, fraught with great responsibility and countless hours of stress and anxiety. A mission that I can understand you're not wanting to take on, after the long road we've traveled together. If anyone's earned a life of peace and quiet, you have, Alfred. So, if you decide to accept this responsibility on top of your duties with the boys, please place your hand on the scanner within the next five minutes. Otherwise, the files will be sent. Alfred Pennyworth. Palm signature verified. I always knew you were a glutton for punishment. But before I hit you with a tidal wave of info, I have a feeling that we won't have a chance to see each other face to face again. So I wanted to say something that I never seemed to find the right time to say. Better late than never, right? Stiff upper lip time, as you used to tell me. You've been my rock, Alfred. Through it all. Through everything. And I just, and I just want you to know that I appreciate all you've done for me, all you've sacrificed over the years. I always thought you were like a father to me, but I was wrong. You're not like a father. You are my father, Alfred. And the fact that I've been lucky enough to have had two amazing ones in this life of mine well, it only makes it that much harder to say. Goodbye, Dad. Okay. On to new business and priority one. <laughs>